Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome back once again to Maximus the Fourth. What I have to present to you guys today is the good old legendary Starbursts. Whoops. This video has actually partially been inspired by the good old ASMR Rowl. I'm going to do things quite a bit differently in this video than he did, but nevertheless, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson on Starbursts, and then I'm going to open this thing up, give you guys a taste test, let you know what I think of all the flavors individually, and this is the original pack. So let's just look at some of the basic stuff first here. So. This pack includes 240 calories. As you can see, this is the original cut. It's natural and artificial flavors. Right here, as you can read, the natural flavors in this pack of original includes cherry, orange, strawberry, and lemon. Right off the bat, you can see that just by reading the ingredients label that Starbursts are actually produced by Mars Wrigley Confectionery, which is a U.S. LLC. And for those of you that don't know who Mars Confectionery is, that is actually the same candy company that created M&M's. The history of Starbursts a popular fruit-flavored candy chew began in 1960 when Mars Incorporation introduced the candy in the United Kingdom under the name Opal Fruits. O-P-A-L is how that's spelled. The original flavors were strawberry, lemon, orange, and lime. Peter Phillips, which was a copywriter for London Advertising Agency, won a contest to name the candy and chose Opal Fruits. The candy was introduced in the United States in 1967, which was just seven years after it was first launched in the United Kingdom. And it was rebranded as Starbursts in 1998 to align with the global brand name. And the name was changed, was, the name change was made because it was simpler and just to give you guys a little bit more fun facts, some other Starburst milestones that you might want to know is that in 2002 to 2014, Starburst Sour Fruit Chews were introduced as well as Liquid Center Jelly Range and Minus, which are smaller unwrapped Starburst Fruit Chews. There was also Tropical Flavors, which include Strawberry Banana, Pina Colada, Mango Melon and Cherry Kiwi were introduced. And then you had Fruit Slushies, which was a mix of flavors inspired by favorite slushies was launched. And as far as the history goes, yeah, I could probably do a little bit more digging, but that's pretty much all you need to know. Now, let's get into this and see what we're dealing with. Okay, got the orange one first, and that is orange. Mmm. That's pretty good. It tastes like a 50-50 bar. It's definitely not just 
a normal orange flavor. It's much more dynamic than that. You can definitely taste some slight vanilla notes in there. Like a 50-50 ice cream bar. Even though there, there might not actually be vanilla notes in there, it's much more dynamic than just a straight orange. I would definitely give that one... I'd give that one probably a 6.5, maybe a 7 out of 10. Let's take a look at the next one here. <coughs> this one is Strawberry. Or, yeah, Strawberry. Mmm. Holy moly. Mmm. That strawberry flavor hits home. Oh, way, way better than the orange. However, There's nothing wrong with the orange. It just hits differently. But that was good. Dang. That strawberry one is absolutely perfect. That one gets a 10 out of 10. Next up here, it looks like we got cherry. Mmm. Wow. It's amazing how dynamic and different all those flavors are. The strawberries got very... Or cherry. Very powerful notes. Holy mackerel. Wow. As far as accuracy goes, if I'm going to rate these individually, that cherry would have to take the number 10 spot, and I would have to knock the strawberry down to 9. I feel like the strawberry and the cherry are just as good, but the cherry has a slight edge on that strawberry because it's just so much more powerful, dynamic, and potent. I would actually give the strawberry 9.5 and the cherry a 10 out of 10. That was pretty good. And very nicely, it looks like the last flavor here, which is lemon. The nice thing is about it is from what I can see, it looks like that they actually package these in order to where you can keep eating them chronologically or not getting like two lemons, two strawberries, two cherries. They put it in the perfect pattern to where... Yeah. It looks like they put it in a consistent pattern to where you can keep on eating the flavors uh, accurately. But I don't know which flavor they started with. In any case, lemon is the very last flavor. So, let's just go ahead and open this one up and give it a shot.
Okay. Lemon is still very, very fair. I would probably give lemon last place. I don't think they did anything wrong with the lemon flavor. I feel like the way they executed it was perfect. But as far as a preference goes, lemon would be my least favorite one out of here. And that's not to say I don't like lemon better in other candy brands or in other foods, period. But the lemon, I would just give it a 5.5. .5. Not even a 5, just a slight score higher than 5 at 5.5. .5. So, overall, because I gave each and every last one of these a score, the first one being orange, 6.5, the second one being strawberry, 9.5, and then cherry, being 10 out of 10, and then lemon being 5.5. .5. I'd have to do some math to figure out what the overall score would come out to be as a whole for this package. ASMRL, help me out there if you can. Just use your calculator and give me the average overall score of what the overall score is of all four of these combined. I'm guessing that that would probably be about a... 7.5 or an 8. So that's it, you guys. That was the tour on Starbursts, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you share this video. Also, leave a comment to help boost the algorithm. If this is your first time watching Maximus the Fourth, let's say you need something else to do, make sure you check out my personal experience my video where I undergo the banana sprite challenge. I will make sure to link that video down in the description of this video and for all other extras and even ways to help support this channel just read through the description very thoroughly. Maximus the fourth here as always I thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.